My name is Melissa Jose, and I manage our innovation lab at Cone Resnick headquarters at 53rd and 6th. The Innovation Lab is a joint collaboration platform. You could join anywhere in the world here inside of this room that we built out four years ago. I've been managing the space for four years. And we have a number of subject matter experts and professionals that come through the space. We hold events there. We interact with our clients. We talk about challenges and issues they're having, disruption, innovation. The pictures that you see here in front of you, the lab, the presentation, the CEO is in the top left corner, Frank Longombardi, and Keith Denham is in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm gonna zoom in, but the concept came from Deloitte, and when it was brought over from Deloitte, we were taking into consideration all the greenhouse um, fundamentals, but really putting our own twist on, on the innovation space, so. That's why we've been so creative in that way. Cone Resnick is a leading audit tax and advisory firm. Four years ago, we invested in the advisory branch of our organization to compete with the big four. But a lot of our work, which comes uh, in the advisory side, is from those long-standing relationships on the audit and tax side, just so you're aware of how our consulting services really work. And we're really proud that recently we won Private Equity Wire USA Award in 2019 for Best Fund Accounting Firm. We have 27 offices. We're, we're growing exponentially. Uh, we're very much into our innovation and technology as well. So Cone Resnick is audit, tax, advisory services, but we also use our innovation lab internally as well. We would bring in a client who has an HR issue who has uh, a real estate challenge. We have people who come through our innovation lab, a fund, a portfolio, and they wanna talk about how they can strategically align their processes and their data and their information. And we bring in our subject matter experts into the innovation lab to consult on these type of challenges. Global collaboration, Michael mentioned that, you know, we're very in tune with technology these days, but we, it's also about the people, and we have to always remember that it's important to bring people into the space to hash out the technical challenges, to talk about what's trending, disruption, how people are, how are we going to be five years from now, what are our spaces going to be like, the cohesion. As an example, when we first created our innovation lab, the lab, which you see in front of you, is a complete wall of monitors. The monitors themselves are called multi-taction. They are touch screen. You can use that like a big iPhone. So if you pinch the screen, it goes smaller. If you, you know, open your fingers, it goes larger. If you do a long touch and you interact with the assets on side, inside the wall, it's essentially a big iPhone. The monitors retailed for $20,000 a piece four years ago. You can find these monitors now for $7,000. So. The upkeep and everything that costs of, of maintaining our innovation lab on, on an annual basis is approximately $200,000 a year as an investment. And I mentioned you can access the innovation wall on your PC, a tablet, a mobile device, and you see that I'm kind of interacting with my tablet here to show you how we use the wall in real time. And that's the power of the, the space itself. So you can imagine I'm in Chicago and we're on a teleconference and I'm actually annotating and physically using the wall and you can see what I'm doing in real time inside of the innovation lab. We bring in our subject matter experts to do strategic transformation, financial operations improvement, transactions, risk mitigation, monetization, technology acceleration. And we have specific architects who are familiar with products that are trending out in the, the tech space, and we talk constantly with our clients about how they should be moving their business and what best practices they should implement. Here is Frank Longobardi, and the technology that we use to power in our innovation lab is Bluescape, and it's very sexy. And the technology comes from Silicon Valley. So because they're very agile, the technology itself, they're not a Cisco or uh, a Microsoft, but they are understanding what the needs are in, in this type of climate, this tech climate, um, and they're doing what they feel 
that the next trend is going to be in the marketplace. And that's why we decided to go with them because if you're investing in one of these big tech companies, you might not get exactly what you're looking for in the long run. And these these people are looking to, to make some risks, you know, take some risks. So that's why we decided to go with Bluescape. Long story short, the innovation lab, the best practices that we've implemented here and the way we work with our clients, the mission is to break down barriers and bring people together to collaborate. And be because we bring them together in our space, we come to a conclusion faster. We're more agile. As you see here, there's another equation, speed to value, better plus faster is higher revenues. So everybody wants more money, ROI. They wanna you know, implement a system and a strategy quick so they can make more money. An example of how we implemented a particular strategy with our client is that we had a $20 billion organization come into our innovation lab. We had 30 of their subject matter experts and we had 10 of our CPAs, accountants, lawyers, and engineers in the room. After a three-day session, we came out with a strategic plan. We had a 30, 60, 90 day plan. And we are this particular organization's accountants, so that's why we're committed to really working with them from concept to fruition and beyond. This is the reason why we've been so successful, our innovation lab, the people. I mentioned earlier the concept came from Keith Denham, who was originally from Deloitte, and my boss, Jeremy Swan, who manages all financial services and financial sponsors. So we have a ton of portfolio or companies that come into the lab, and we strate strategically align with them. Tama Wong is our chief innovation officer, and she ap actually brought in Brookfield Properties to our innovation lab, and we implemented the system called Yardi. If you're interested in talking more about the Innovation Lab, you can call me <laughs> or add me on LinkedIn. If you have any technical questions, if you want to learn more about the lab, please feel free to reach out.